thank you so much for that great information about um, holding your field and letting the client come into your field. That just feels like how to live my life, really, just a big learning. Right, huh? <laughs> um, yeah. Agreed. Good information. Um, and before I go into my um, what's been coming up for me in the last few days since our group call, I – I just want to recommend it to anybody on this call. Those group calls, they're small. You get lots of witness. Um, I've learned amazing things from other people on that call. Um, and if you don't want to wait for a private session, they really it's really very helpful. I, I just want to say, as a participant, Thank I you, highly Catherine. recommend it. It's, it's profound and it's different from a private call, but I – you get a lot out of it on many different levels. And I hear things that maybe I hadn't thought of that maybe have been happening to me but don't know how to articulate and someone's articulating it. So yeah. if if you're up for it, try those group calls. They're small and they're really, really helpful. So I just I needed to share that. Thank you, Catherine. I agree with the witnessing. It's really beautiful. Fabulous. What's uh, what what came to mind as we've been talking today? Love well, to hear where so you're at. Since since our last group call on Friday, I when I begin to meditate now, I don't know if it's just tremendous influx of light or what, but normally I do do a lot of physical um, processing if I'm feeling mm-hmm. tension or stuckness or something for whatever reason. Just in the last few days, I sit down to meditate, and my body just starts to go through huge relaxations, which, you know, isn't isn't typical, just sitting in meditation uh-huh. and having that happen. Um, but it, it does feel like this eclipse is just opening a lot up. And um, so that's, that's one thing that I've been experiencing, and it feels really, Beautiful. really wonderful. Um, and supportive um, physically yeah. and other ways. And then the other thing is that um, a few weeks ago, the thought of I could lose everything, like resources, I could lose everything in a heartbeat. And so um, it pushed me to sit and look at all the things that I really want to do and how to get my resources in line to do them. Um, uh, you know, over the next year to build my foundation. Um, yeah. And again, in the last few days, and I'm sure it's the eclipse, it's just pushing it right up to the surface is that fear of lack and yeah. the future kept coming in and how is this going to work and how am I going to do that? And I thought that would be okay, but I see no, I see no way to be able to afford that. And so I, I've been just doing my best to clear, delete, and, you know, just bring that, I guess, golden light is the thing that keeps coming to me the last few Mm -hmm. days, just keep filling myself with golden light to bring me back up again so I'm not, you know, trolling on the bottom and (laughs) regurgitating the lack so that I'm, yeah, and, yes. Yeah, that worrying, that worrying causes lots of energy leakage, right, and then... Yeah, that worrying is very dense. So yeah, it's well, kind of like trolling, the, trolling that. the bottom, right? Yeah, very yeah. dense. And, mm-hmm. and the golden light, golden light of enlightenment. That's the intelligent light of the source field. And that's yeah, that going to lift you up. Yeah, and connecting into it and recognizing, just catching yourself when you're worrying, and then we can bow to the program. Thank you so much for trying to help me. I require you to shut down now. I'm the soul in charge, and I have a different plan. And then we lay out the, the simple plan. I, I intend to be focused and happy right now. I intend to work with what I have in this moment right now. And then we take a nice big deep breath and deprogram our brains to constantly connect to that field of limitation that makes us believe in scarcity because scarcity is not real. Nope. Scarcity is not real. 
It is a, it's a dense program, and it's one that the collective has, not just us. So sometimes oh, when that fear comes up, right, it's the collective, and then that fear is coming into your field so that you can help the earth move it out of the way. So for all of those re really powerful empaths out there, right, the collective empaths who really tap into the collective every day, and knowing that, first off, it's not your job to identify where stuff's coming from. It's just your job to help clear it and replace the energy. And so folks who tap into that sometimes, they tap into it at the DNA level or the collective level, and it's come up in that moment triggering some of your own programs along the way yep. <laughs> so that it can be welcomed to move up, down, or out of your field and then shift off the planet. Good. Yeah, another clever way to move through this whole experience. I love it. 